Welcome back. Every few years, the food industry ignites a new gadget trend for the kitchen that people go crazy for. And right now, that gadget happens to be the air fryer. So what are they? How do they work? And are they worth the hype? We brought in our food expert, the diet diva, Tara Collingwood, to guide us through the pros and cons of this new kitchen must-have. Tara, good to see you. Good to see you, too. So let's talk about the air fryer. What is it? I keep hearing about this thing nonstop. I know. Everyone loves the air fryer who has one and everyone who doesn't have one says, uh, what do you make in that? And I'm like, everything. <laughs> so, yes, okay. that's what we're about to talk about today is everything can go in the air fryer, pretty much. Okay, so despite the name, the air fryer technically doesn't really fry food, right? Exactly, and that's the advantage is, you know, as a dietitian, I'm always looking for that healthier option. So when you're looking for something that's going to be lower calorie, you want to air fry. And what it does is it just moves heat around this little chamber, and so it creates this nice crispy outside, but nice soft inside. As, which is exactly what you want. As if it's fried, but it's exactly. not. Okay, let's talk about what should go in the air fryer and what should not go in the air fryer. Yeah, so the main thing that you don't want to do is anything that has a lot of moisture. So cheese is not going to do well because it melts down into that basket. Um, I, do, I will show you a couple things actually today that I used a little bit of cheese in, but you have to be careful with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so basically just anything that you want that crispy texture is what you should put in the air fryer. And before we talk about the examples, I mean, you're a health expert, so what are the health benefits to mm -hmm. the air fryer? Well, you know, obviously the calorie savings. You, you can go. save, you know, 70 plus calories, 70% yeah. calories um, by not using, you know, boiling oil. <laughs> and oil actually creates damage. So it can create these, um, these chemicals that can be damaging to our health. And so not only from the calorie and fat perspective, but we're also talking about you know, a lot less in terms of you know, those, those chemicals that are being produced. Okay, walk us through what you've brought and what you put into the air fryer. And some of these options, I understand this is kind of the first time you've tried them. It has, okay. Yeah. So I went to Facebook and I'm like, friends, what do you like to do on in the air fryer? And so I tried a few new things that my friends suggested. Okay. So I made some stuffed mushrooms. So these, I said, do have a little bit of cheese, but it's cream cheese, it's bacon, and it's a little bit of cheddar cheese, and of course a little bit of garlic salt and all that kind of stuff. And so I put them in just eight minutes into the air fryer um, and they are like divine. So again, that little crispy, you can see that the top say. has a little crispy, but the inside is going to be nice and soft. And this is all done by hot air. That's, yep. that's, that's it. it. Okay. Just, you put it right in the basket and close it. There you go. And we were talking while you were getting ready about kale. You've mm -hmm. never put kale, and I would have never thought to put kale yeah. in an air fryer. I mean, I've made kale chips umpteen times in my life, but I always do them in the oven. So that's the thing is that the air fryer replaces the oven for not wanting to heat up your whole house and creating less electricity, all that. So kale chips. So all I did with this is I put, um, you know, I took off all the stems, of course, you want to do that. Just a little bit of olive oil and salt, massage it just a tiny bit. You actually massage it a lot less than if you're making kale salad because it does wilt down quite a bit just mm. in the air fryer. So and, you're telling I mean, me this is an entire bag of kale. Probably. Almost, almost. <laughs> But, and you could use some ranch seasoning on here. You could put, you know, all kinds of different things. Italian seasoning. I just did, you know, the salt and the oil. But again, just a little bit of oil compared to something that would be deep fried. Talk to me about time comparisons. Mm -hmm. Let's say we do this, this in the oven yeah. versus the air fryer. So oven would probably be about 15, 20 minutes. This was four. Okay, I'm sold. <laughs> four minutes for the, okay, all yeah. right. Plus it's so nice and it doesn't take up much space on the countertop, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. All bad. right, talk to me about the gnocchi. Yeah, so gnocchi is something that, you know, I, I love. And I, this was one that my Facebook friends said, hey, if you're, you know, I do gnocchi in the air fryer. I was like, really? Yeah. So that's something that would replace the skillet. So normally I do gnocchi in the skillet. So this is literally just frozen gnocchi that I put into the air fryer. Now this is stuffed, so you see that some of the stuffing did come out yeah. a little bit, but not bad. Okay. I mean, it really didn't mess up my air fryer that much. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit of tomato and cheese inside this gnocchi, but if you did a non-stuffed gnocchi, then it definitely would work really, really well in the air fryer as well. So again, about eight minutes. Okay, I would have never thought about doing steak in an air yes. fryer, but everyone is raving about how great steak is turning out in this thing. Yeah, so, you know, the, the proteins. Okay, so let's just talk, these are one of the the things, you know, I, when I first got my air fryer, I would do tofu, I would do sweet potatoes, you know, uh, french fries, you know, that kind of stuff. I didn't do a lot of proteins. So now, I mean, people are like chicken wings. Like that is the thing to really? do in the air fryer is chicken wings. But 
a lot of people said steak, and I was like, really? So that's why I was like, all right, mm -hmm. for this segment, I'm going to see. Okay. Um, so eight minutes was what this steak was. Medium? I flipped it halfway through. Okay. It's about a medium. You could do it 10 to 12 minutes if you want it a little bit more well done. Um, and at 400, now I brought a little chimichurri sauce, mm -hmm. so you can just, you know, spread a little sauce it's on beautiful. there as well. Um, I did salt and pepper, you know, just brushed a little bit of olive oil on the top of it before I put it in the air fryer, and that was it. And finally, dessert. Yeah, so um, of course the dietitian has to do something healthy. Now you can, <laughs> in the air fryer, you can do, if you have a ramekin, you can do souffles, you can do cake, you can do all kinds of stuff. I just did baked apples, literally cut the apple in half, put a little bit of um, oats and maple syrup and um, you know butter, put it on top of there, done. Where can Eight people minutes. find you, Tara? Dietdiva.net. Tara, thank you, some great stuff, incredible. We'll have the recipes on our website as well. We're back right after this.